My friend's kids are meeting up with us, our street team. They were going through the in and out drive through so I was like, okay. Yeah, they do. Like, like, yeah, bring me a receipt and I'll give you money for that. <laughs> you know, along with your gas. So yeah, we stopped to get, what do you guess? Five, Sushi, four, yes. three, Yeah, so what two, we're doing is we're like leaving one, the stickers so like people can take them and stuff. Or at least I'm telling the kids. We have a look <laughs> Bitches. Hello, welcome to the vlog. I know it's evening, but you know, I vlogged um, <laughs> my getting ready today, and now I'm vlogging again. <laughs> so here we are. <sighs> my friend's kids are meeting up with us, our street team. <sighs> Put my hoodie on. They're doing some stuff over here at this place. Yeah. This place, I told you, my one of the kids, his mom works a booth at one of the farmer's markets. Handmade shit. <laughs> And um, I, she doesn't always come out, but because she's got chronic illnesses, but you know, like sometimes she does. So she said this was a good place. She said she'd make sure to point them out if she could. Yeah, so what we're doing is we're like leaving the stickers so like people could take them and stuff. Or at least I'm telling the kids that. I'm like, make sure people can like take them because they're cool. So they are really cool. They are really cool. So yeah, they should be showing up here soon. <laughs> they were going through the in and out drive through so I was like, okay. Yeah, they do. Like, like, yeah, bring me a receipt and I'll give you money for that. <laughs> you know, along with your gas. So, yeah. Waiting for my friends, kids to show. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know what was on for a second. I was like, huh? So yeah, we're in the car. Woo, we got out of there. Kids got their stickers. They were gonna hang out a bit and shit. So yeah, anyways. So yeah, we stopped to get, what do you guess? Sushi, yes. So I am vlogging in the parking lot here. I should show you the stickers. Let me show you the stickers. Let me get them. okay. Let me show you these stickers I, I got. I don't. I didn't show them to you yet, so. Here, I haven't seen the other ones, really. So, I got these. Oh. In various sizes. We had the similar ones. They came from, uh, Vista Print, but I didn't really like them, so I got these. So, I got these from, um, the place I'm getting my, the other shit made. You know what I mean? Printful, whatever. Okay. There's a new one to go with the shirt. I'll show you the shirt when we get home. Shirt looks sick. It came out awesome. So anyways, my mom was even like, I want one. I want one, so yeah. Anyway, so yes, look at that. Doesn't it look cool? So it says the DGAV tour presented by DesertMermaid.com. So we hung out some of these with like tape so people can take them. That was the whole point, so people could take them. So, yeah, I think they look really nice. Yeah, so another rocking night here with me, Desert Mermaid. <laughs> I think we'll figure out what to watch when we get home. Let's see. We're in the car right now, so let's see. Oh, notification one minute ago. My video is still processing, too, like that I uploaded, that I filmed part of this morning. Yeah, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. So let's see what's going on the YouTubies. Ah, uh, VTubers. Uh, do you ever see people backing up in front of you and you're like, "Oh, that was kind of close." So yeah. Mm, Peter Mom posted his vlog. Nothing. Nothing boring night let's go over to my home feed i like it on the ipad because i can see more shit oh dronescape graffiti skyscraper part two premiering that is actually fun to watch that um, um 
Major Stowe Storm, Internet Impacts, Flag, Staff, Arizona, Dateline, that's always live. Hello. What's up? I lo you put the order in? Yeah. Cool. So I'm vlogging. Yo. Yes. So, yeah. Seeing what's going on YouTube. Trump speaks after Nevada caucus. No one gives a shit. Seriously. I, I always think of uh, cock when I hear the word caucus. <laughs> know, yeah. Doesn't anybody? I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to say that. You're supposed to probably say schmock or something. You know, like how there's that secret YouTube language. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, someone going off on Foodie Beauty. Um, psychics. Shanny and Rev, do you guys know who that is? Shanny and Rev, they're low cows. Yep. They they live stream driving across country. They were the ones who said shit ninjas <laughs> are the ones who destroyed <laughs> their fucking house in Colorado that they basically destroyed themselves. And then they like live stream themselves driving cross country and I shit you not, they get stuck on train tracks while live. They're driving and okay, they're they're fucking morons. They fried their brains with drugs, right? So, it's funny, but it's not funny, okay? So, like, backstory, Rev, Rev was like a, like a, like a, one of those guys who lived in his basement at his mom's, and his mom died and left him, like, a lot of money, like, a couple million dollars. True sure, story, sure, bro. Yeah. So, um, Shani saw Rev online and was like, that's my cash cow. Left the man she was with, cheated on him, took her boys, <laughs> and they packed up with, and, and she married Rev. So Meal ticket. Eventually, they end up in Colorado, and everything's being streamed, right? And they're, they're getting called, like, there are body cam footage of the cops picking her up. There was one, okay, Sh Shani's a larger woman, so they needed to get an ambulance to take Shani to... To, to jail for for DV against Rev one night because she left a mark on his face. Yep, yep. So it was funny when the ambulance showed up and I'm like, this this would be me. I'd be that EMT. Where the paramedic, the, the cop goes over to the paramedic and she's like, mm, okay, so who are we taking the paramedic? And it's like, and, and he goes, oh, it's for her. And she goes, what? Like the paramedic had a, vis a visual reaction visual. to that. Shani was the one they were taking to jail that night. That's funny. <laughs> in, the, in the ambulance. Because she did not fit in the back of his cruiser. And so they're in the back and this poor EMT is just like not making eye contact with Shani the entire time. And Shani's swearing off men and saying how the, <laughs> everything is like hurting. And <laughs> she was just trying to live her life. And she's the victim it was just yeah it was fucking crazy so what are you doing holding them still i'm fine <laughs> stop it you're distracting me from my story sorry so so they're so they decide okay they get kicked out finally of the colorado apartment and so it's time now that they've gone through the couple million dollars that Rev was able to get out of his investments. Because let me tell you, there are some investments Rev doesn't know how to liquida liquidate. Uh oh. Or Shanny. So there's money sitting somewhere that he just doesn't know how That's to. It's not supposed to be that hard. I know, but it is oh, <laughs> for them. So. Not like turning off a smoke alarm. So they're getting kicked out and they're moving back to uh, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Scranton. <laughs> so, the, so the whole family is in there. They have a car full of like a guinea pig and two cats oh, and that's terrible two kids and they're the kind of people that didn't spend the money on their kids they decided to get a a, a wrestling a wwe belt that was sitting on the dash as they drove across so as they're driving shanny and rev get stuck on train tracks yeah and they're like live yelling it was just Oh, Rev's going, we're dead, we're dead, we're gone, we're gone. And, 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 and Shani's like, call the cops, call the cops. And then Shani's crying like, nothing ever goes my way. This is, sucks, this is so hard. <laughs> the cat's so freaked out. It's hiding in the car so well, one of them, that they can't even find it, this poor fucking thing. <laughs> That's terrible. It was a horrible thing. They finally made it to Scranton, but... 
it was a terrible. struggle. It was a struggle bus. God, that sounds like. Thank God the, the kids are not ever. with them anymore. So thank God for that. But yeah, yeah, that was them. That was them. So yeah, we're sitting here parking lot. Parking lot party. Mm. Look up the song. It's a good song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good times, right? Good times. Good times. We are home. I wanted to show you the shirt before I ate. I got my chopsticks already. I'm ready to go to eat my sushi. But let me show you this. This is the shirt. Hopefully it's... That's not a PUP, but that's my air freshener. So anyway, so there it is. It actually almost feels like it was vinyl printed. But yeah. Desert Mermaid presents the decaf tour. Little stars. Tickets on sale. A desert remark, but yeah, I think it looks good. I like it. Yay! That's you like nice. it? It looks good. Really good. Looks good. So yeah, yeah. Sushi time. Time to find something on YouTube to relax too. I'll link some shit. Hopefully there's something. I don't know. There wasn't really anything on when I was looking in the car, so. Hello. Yes, it's the next day. It's the next day. So yeah, I'm editing the vlog here. Oop, can't really show that on YouTube. But yeah, editing the vlog there. So yeah, and it's a cleaning day. Got a lot of shit to clean, including that. Yeah, so last night I just watched, I ended up going over to Netflix because there was nothing on YouTube. I'm watching that Julianne Moore movie with, um... God, what is her name? I don't remember her name. She was so popular when I was in high school, too. Um, don't remember, but you'll see in the playlist. It's, since it's on Netflix, and I know not everybody has Netflix, I just linked some synopsis and stuff. But basically, it's called May, December. And it is loosely based off of the Mary Kay Letourneau story. Yeah, you know, the one who ended up marrying a 7th grade or a student, like, well, she ended up, you know, like, she's a pedophile, right? So she basically, she essayed her student and convinced the world it was a real relationship and got pregnant by the kid and this poor boy, it was just, it, it really does show the long-term impact of grooming and stuff like that. She groomed this kid and it just, it's, yeah. And it really shows, like, how it stunted this man, like, it's not a pupae, I remember. But how it really kind of stunted this man, you know, having this relationship with an older woman at, like, 13 you know, having kids, and he even mentions, go, yeah, I didn't realize, you know, what it meant to have kids at my, you know, to have kids, you know, whatever. I was just kind of grew up into it, and it was just like, ew. It's, it's interesting, so trigger warning that triggers you, but to me, I'm very kind of, not fascinated, but like, what the fuck about female predators? Like, because I feel like the world has this blinder because they're women and I'm just like, what the hell's going on here? Am I the only one going, looking around going, what the fuck, what the fuck? So, yeah. I got shit linked in the playlist. As always, I'm sending lots of love to all of you. I hope you guys have a good day doing whatever you're going to do until I see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah!